Sewing can simultaneously be the most fun experience ever and the most frustrating thing all in one session. <laughs> so to minimize our frustration, let's look at how to properly thread our sewing machines. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty, and I go by Patty Mac Makes Everywhere Online. Welcome to my sewing studio and my handmade lifestyle. On this channel, we like to celebrate all things analog in this digital world. Like today's video and subscribe to the channel, and be sure to hang out with us because it's fun and you'll learn a lot of cool things. I am blessed enough to own two different sewing machines and behind me you'll see the older machine which is the Kenmore. I sew a lot these days with the Singer. I have uh, shared that machine with you in a couple of other videos. I'll link them below and also up here so you can see more about that machine and why I enjoy it. Uh, but one thing is true of newer machines and that is they all kind of thread the same way. They might be a little bit different in terms of the features, the functions, uh, things like that, but at the end of the day, they all kind of thread the same way. The truth is, having a sewing machine is a lot like having a classic car. You're going to have to learn to love the tinkering. Uh, that's just the way it is. You're going to have to fool with thread tension. You're going to have to really learn how to set your machine up for success. Every machine is a little bit different. The generalizations that we follow, that is a starting point. So um, just get comfortable with knowing that eventually you are going to have to solve some problems and that's okay. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Trust me. Okay, so let's just take a look at the machines. So all of these sewing machines, they're all kind of the same, but they're all a little bit different. And what you will want to do is to review the uh, book that comes up with your machine, and that will talk about how to run the thread through all of the parts. You can also look on the top of your machine, and there will be a diagram that shows where to run the thread when you're threading the machine for sewing, and also where you're going to run the thread in the case of setting up to wind your bobbin. There are two different um, functions that we use thread for. We use it for sewing the top stitches, and we also have to wind a bobbin with that same thread, and that happens also on the top of the machine. So essentially on your sewing machines you're going to have this first uh, thread guide you're going to run through there and then you're going to come down through this groove and down below and back up and then you're going to look for this little silver arm that is your spool thread take up lever. This is your spool thread. It's going to come around the top of there and sit inside of a little hole right in the front and then you're going to run that thread down through. This is like a really long thread guide and then as you get down to the area with the needle there is one last thread guide remaining and then you will thread your needle and then the whole top part of your machine is done. So you can see I have this thread uh, loaded onto the horizontal feed and that's because I have this type of thread that is wound in the way that goes on the horizontal feed. So whether I'm using the horizontal feed or the upright feed, it's going to depend on the kind of thread that you're using. I personally like this style and that goes on the horizontal. Whether you load here or you load here, it's exactly the same. So the first thing you're going to do is to put your thread onto the spool holder and then you put this little cap on the end and that just keeps it from from coming off. And then you're going to take your thread and you're going to hold it between your two fingers and you come through the first guide which is in the back 
and then you come down through this little crack and then we're going to run under the bottom and then we come up and we run it around the spool spool guide excuse me the thread take up lever and then we come all the way down and I will bone this closer up for you to see but there is a thread guide at the very bottom and we're going to run thread through there you want to get your thread in that last little thread guide which can be tricky sometimes and then this little piece over here is your automatic needle threader and then you pull it down and then you bring it around to cradle the needle you run the thread around just like that under those two hooks and pull it through and then it pulls that thread right through the eye and then there you go you're ready to sew what I really want you to take note of is that the presser foot was up the whole time a lot of us will have a tendency we think oh at the end I'm gonna to have to thread the needle so we put the tension foot or the presser foot down don't do that because what happens is when you engage the presser foot you're also engaging the tension that's inside the machine on the tension rods or the rings where you've run the thread and if you thread your machine when your presser foot is down it doesn't thread correctly in the tension spools so make sure that your presser foot is up when you're threading the machine and then just to show you that everything worked we'll engage <clears throat> And there we have beautiful smooth sewing. Okay, I'm going to uh, come in and show you some of this more close up because I know you couldn't see all of that. So hang on. Here's a closer look at the housing where we're going to run the thread as we thread our machine. So I'm going to remove it again. And we're just going to look at this part more closely. So we first come around and we go through one down through this crack basically and then you can see there's like a little loop-de-loop -loop down there three up and then what you're doing is you're running it around this uptake lever and hooking the thread in the very front of that lever and then we're going to bring it down and do the bottom part so that's how you do the top. Now you may find that, um, let's say that you're threading your machine and you're like, well, I don't see that uh, uptake lever. Where is it? You turn the wheel, the flywheel that's on the right side, only turn it towards you, never away. So you turn it towards you and it controls the needle going up and down and it also controls the lever and look there it is it pops right up so turn your flywheel get your uptake lever where you can see it and then we come through one two down around and up three around that lever four and then we're going to come down to the bottom and let me change the angle so that you can see what I'm doing. Now we're at the bottom of the sewing machine where we're actually ready to thread our needle and sewing machines will have another thread guide that's in about this approximate location. All of these little thread guides look a little bit different. Um, the one on this machine is kind of tricky to get the thread in there so you have to kind of fool with that but there it is now it's in and see it just holds that thread close to the needle now you can either um, thread it by eye or you can use this little um, attachment and so you see it's got this little paddle it's got this is the automatic 
um, threader. Let me just say that. And it has two parts on it. It has this little hook, it has this little hook, and then it has another hook around the back. So what we're going, going to do is we're going to bring it down and then you bring it forward like this and see how it cradles around the needle that second part so you hold it down you take your thread and you're going to go from the outside around that left hook and then bring it up under the right hook and then hold it with a little bit of tension behind and then let go and that will pull your thread through the eye of the needle and it takes some practice but once you get used to it it's pretty uh, easy and it's super helpful so there we've threaded and let's just uh, check and see how we how we sew just so you can see that we'll engage the thread we'll put down our presser foot and it sews beautifully. That's what you should have. You should be able to put your thread in and have it sew uh, perfect seams right away. I'm going to film this part from a different angle because it's just so hard to show this to you. So here we are. We're super close up. And um, here is that little thread guide. And on my machine, this is really tricky to uh, get in there just right, but it is important that you get the thread through that last thread guide. And there it is. And now I'm going to show you how to use this automatic threader. So you have this little uh, gadget over here to the left, and you have this little um, paddle, I'll call it that. Uh, so you're, And you see you have this little hook here. So there's the two hooks. So you press down and you bring it around. And then you're going to take that thread and you work it from left to right around this hook. And then up under the hook that cradles the needle. Okay, and then I'm pulling the thread to the right and back. And then you just let go and it pulls a little teeny loop through that eye of the needle and that really really does save you some effort in getting the thread um, through the eye of the needle so there's the two hooks here and the other one here and honestly you're just gonna have to play with it a little bit when you play with it um, you'll get the feel of it and it will make sense to you. So, um, you know, you might have to fiddle with getting this to come down and into the position that you need it. Um, you're going to want your uh, needle should be in the position where the, um, like if you can't pull that around at all, the needle is not in quite right position. So just um, fiddle with the flywheel until you get the needle where this uh, second uh, hook will come around. This makes a lot more sense when you actually do it. Some things you honestly, you just have to, um, you have to do it yourself a few times to get the hang of it and then all of it makes perfect sense. And that's how I thread my sewing machines. If your machine is um, made within the last, I'm gonna say 20 or 25 years, I think you'll find that yours will thread in a similar fashion. So uh, hopefully this video will help you if you've been a little bit stuck on it. Honestly, just check your manual, see what it recommends, look at the diagram on your machine, that will tell you everything you need to know. And uh, above all, make sure your presser foot is up. That is the single most important factor in making sure that you are threaded correctly because of the way the presser foot will open and close your tension discs. Okay, that's the video. I sure appreciate you hanging out 
and uh, I hope you learned something fun and uh, get out there and get sewing. <laughs>